background there. Yes, and it's got the paper wraps. Wow. And this is another blade. It's a different size blade for changing. I used one of these before. You boys ain't from around here, are you? Where are you boys trying to head to? Come sit down, Michael. You're fine. Uh, so your name is Mike? Yes. Michael? Mikey? And what else they call I you? I call him Michael. They call me pretty much everything in the book. <laughs> well, I put you down as Mike. All right. Go. That's good. Uh, you know, I had a customer come in, uh, matter of fact, two days ago. And uh, while you were gazing there at the desk and wanted to show you this he gave me this it's a very nice gift an antique oh, wow. clippers oh, wow. That's in the box mm -hmm. it's made by uh, Pearson and Company Yes, and it's got the paper wraps. Wow. And this is another blade. It's a different size blade for changing. I used one of these before. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's a real art to do that. Because you got to open and close just so perfect. Because if you don't, you'll pull the hair right out. No motor on that thing. <laughs> no, this is all hand done. Yeah. So that's a, we'll get started. Is make this man happy? Are you doing a good job of making him happy? I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More crazy. That <laughs> yeah, goes hand in hand. Never a dull moment. Well, yeah. you probably no more crazy than wrestling with folks. <laughs> you know, all we're trying to do is figure it out, right? It's a never ending battle. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems like there's five things in life that are hard for people. They come in different orders, you know? One is finding a nice lady or a man, you know? Right. And then there's getting into a house, finding a job you like, right. saving money, and taking care of your health. I don't know one of those five I have, but I like my job. So I guess one out of five might be successful. Right. I don't know. I, I guess I'm right there with you. I'm a one out of five, too. <laughs> I guess keeping the woman is a... <laughs> Quarter of a century on this one. <laughs> yeah. mm. I forget the percentages. One time I, I was playing around with it and I, I said 50% uh, of the people are trying to figure it out and 75% of the people um, have no idea what's going on and the other 20 or then don't care. <laughs> I don't know what the percentages are, but <laughs> people have to care. Do I know? Uh, you have to care. Yeah. But then again, you also have your, uh, <clears throat> I guess, your percentage of people that don't really take a care less. Yeah, we always have some of those people. But you know, you gotta pick and choose your friends, you know. Yes, sir. What's that expression? You uh, keep your, friend, your, your friends far away and your enemies close? Yeah, keep your enemies close and your enemies close. What'd you say, Sally? Keep your friends close and your enemies close. Yeah, some sort of way. Your friends are hard and far from. Yeah, it's funny how when you, uh, you, uh, when you really realize who your friends are and who your acquaintances are, mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, if you ever fall into like a, yeah, you know, fall into a hard time, say. Yeah. Well, it seems, and, uh, to me, it seems to me that 
sometimes people don't know what they have till it's gone. Right. You know, it's unfortunate we have to do that sort of shopping. Good thing the bars don't close here in Vegas. No. You know, living here in Nevada, we, we sort of get spoiled in, in a couple of ways. Uh, one of them is parking. We don't have too much parallel parking unless you go to somebody's <laughs> house for a party. Yeah. And then they give you free soda, so I remember in Los Angeles, I tried to time at finishing the hamburger to have the last drink of soda, so <laughs> I get it done. But over here, you just, hey, fill it up. Yeah. yeah, I guess that stem from being hot in the weather, so they just kind of give you a drink of waters and soda. And Vegas weather definitely is a mind altering. <clears throat> hmm? There's one thing I never really got that used to Nevada. The heat? Is, yeah, because see, to me, high noon, 12 o'clock is supposed to be where it's hot, is, right? Yeah. But it doesn't get hot till maybe 6 o'clock sometime, you know, right. in the evening. Right. I've sweat my shear here. So what I'm showing the people, I kind of mentioned some of my, all my videos seem like, is that how I cutting hair with this technique of using the clipper backwards instead of forward, where I'm shaping, molding, and contouring, and styling the hair with no lines. Mm. Yeah, I've let Sherry cut my hair before. <laughs> what? Well, yeah. You like to be a barberette? <clears throat> she wanted to go to beautician school. Yeah. It's not late. It's never late. Matter of fact, you, her aunt has uh, got a shop up in what, Colorado? Yeah. She was gonna go there and like, what is it, like apprenticeship underneath her or something? And get her a certificate or whatever. But that never happened. That fell through. Uh, Cuts good hair though. I mean, you know, not to talk better than me. <laughs> no, it, it's talent to be able yeah. to do that anyway, you know. Fine. Well, what I have is a license to practice, right? And that's what I keep doing, practicing. Is that what you always want me to do? Pardon, sir? Is that what you always want me to do? A barber? No. No. No? I, I really thought I was going to be a, an auto mechanic of all things. And I went to L.A. Trade Tech to, to, to be a mechanic and I started to work on the Buddha diesel. And then I thought, well, I think I'd like to be a clinical psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, well, I'd like to be a dermatologist. <laughs> so my grandfather, he was a barber. So he suggested I should tried being a barber. Well, I had no interest in being a barber. <laughs> Although my family comes from barbers. You know, they said my great-great-grandfather was a barber. And so I went to a barber college in Long Beach, California. And I tell you what, it wasn't a short time after that. I just loved his job. 
Hmm. And I got stories of being in school and learning this profession of mine. The mistakes I made and the shaving I made. Boy, I'll tell you what, it'd be embarrassing just to talk about it, but it's interesting stories how you learn, you know? Because we're all going to make mistakes. And hopefully we learn from them. And hopefully, you know, what I learn I can share on to somebody else to make life there a little bit easier. And, and that's just how we go through life, always try to better things. Yeah, you know, in barber cars, I was giving a guy a shave one time, and instead of following the, the cheek, I decided to make a shortcut and lift up a piece of his cheek and push it back down. And oh, oh, oh. He went out and got some stitches, came back for me to finish up the shave of all things, you know. And, oh. And then I went ahead and wanted my razor to be the sharpest and most cleanest razor in town. So after the haircut, I, I took my razor, okay, in between the towel, and I wiped it real clean. And what happened, I went ahead and cut right through my skin, you know, because of the sharpness. I mean, hmm. just things. Well, that's turned out to be a beautiful haircut. Look at all the layers. And mm -hmm. He's got really nice hair. Yep. Nice yep. color, everything. I'm going to use my scissors pretty soon to uh, make it all even and blend it in. I earned every one of these grays, too. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, I'll give you a few more, okay? <laughs> and you don't mind having them, you know? Some people complain about their gray hair. You know what I tell them? It's from the last customer. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we'll I've heard, I've seen them scissors. I've seen them on your, on your oh, broadcast. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Mm. So have you ever had any misfortunes with the scissors? Like <laughs> the razor? <laughs> Oh, me cutting myself? I've done that before. Oh, this one time I was cutting this fellow's hair, right? And his hair was real, real long, way like that. And I put my fingers in there and I cut the little bit of hair. <laughs> I, I lost where my finger was. <laughs> You know, I used to have a barber work for me. Mm -hmm. And after every haircut, almost, he used to always say, you want to have this haircut gift wrap or you want to wear it? That was his little favorite thing. So if I use that, I would say to the customer, well, I'm all out of blue ribbon. So all I got is pink. Therefore, they won't have it wrapped. Is a sound that I'll never forget. Oh, my <laughs> it's looking pretty nice, isn't it, Mike? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. This appears to be a little long on the right side, it seems like, huh? That always seems to, 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 to I don't know, it, it yeah. has its own mind. Yeah, I think you have a little more density on this side mm -hmm. than more here. Feeling like I should be going down to the red carpet here in a minute. <laughs> so you call this locking it in? Locking it in, yes. I've it's, never. It's actually it. It actually it, it thins, it contours and shapes the hair. It's like taking a plane and going over a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. It smooths everything right out. If you have waves or curls, they mm -hmm. just mold into each other. I'd have to get a pencil and paper and kind of show you what I'm talking about. I, I've never even seen it done. Let alone I've never heard it. Of it. Mm, razor uh, cuts were very popular. Hmm, I would say in the in the 70s, <laughs> late 60s, 68. Um, people used to pay extra money for a razor cut. If a haircut, say, was 250, to have a razor cut would be 450. Wow. That's how it was though. But it seemed they still have this method but not as much as used to be. I don't right. know why. Well, because, you know, hair couldn't change too much. The hair got very short. Right. So you can't, you know, use a razor on, on short hair unless you're giving a, a bald fade or, or some kind of a lineup. Probably more of a liability, too, with a... Razor? Yeah, if you're not... <laughs> Good with 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 razor knowing what you're doing, and uh, yeah, well, you takes, could have a few. It takes practice. Yeah. See how that kind of molded yes. and shaped it, and we got it looking nice and even. Hmm. I'm getting quite popular on YouTube channel. I wasn't trying to be popular, it just kind of kind of worked that way. I really just started, you know, to try to show my method of cutting hair, and then I'd do one video after another one. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes things happen accidental and not necessarily just on purpose. Right. You know, because just life sometimes works this way. And you just buzz around here. You know, you, these here little hairs like that, mm -hmm. they're like little terrors. You know, you, you got to get them on the horizon or you'll miss them. <laughs> but I'm going to get that for you. <laughs> okay. I might get lucky tonight. <laughs> You know, I explained on my one of the videos prior to this one that we had born with these like baby hairs or the little hairs is what they're called. And what happens as we get older they mature. And they've been they've always been there. They just make an appearance.
I get the neckline again move. Sure that everything is right here. Get him low here. There's a one that Ma used to like to grab it and go wherever he wanted to. <laughs> She's always been trying to get me to do that, and, and it's one thing that uh, I refuse to. <laughs> <You're not into laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I've seen what it does to some people. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like. That's what they do their hair red. Well, still. <laughs> oh man. I have a daughter, she does her hair about once a week. And then <laughs> she, <laughs> and I'm surprised it, 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 yes. Did you feel that? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, one time I had a lady sitting on the chair next to us and the guy had a, a music note right here, tattooed on the side of his neck here. Yeah. So as I came down the side like that, I went ahead and I went like that, like bars going through the music note. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, her heart dropped. Yeah. And you, have, you can have fun with this job, just gotta be careful with it. And know who you can kid around with, you know. That's why you have to know your, your customer base. <laughs> if not, you just be serious and, you know, a lot of times I'll just talk, baby talk. And after you get to know the person after a while, <laughs> as they start talking, you learn a lot about people. Because believe it or not, you'll see the barber more than probably you'll see maybe your relatives. Over yeah. the course of time, right, and right. during the course of time, you make a, a lot of friendship. Lot of friends. Yeah, customers become really friends. Yeah. I don't think he's a product man. I think he likes his hair dry. Huh? Mm -hmm.
that stuff I was asking for earlier tonight? Um, That's great. Sort of oil, that coconut oil. Vial, uh, vitamin heal oil. You mean like hairspray? Yeah, it was a, it was a hair spray for hair. Yeah. Well, I have got the spray, an olive, olive spray with oil in it. But usually I, I just go. Because that would make the hair oily. And you don't want that. This here could I ever had <laughs> Seriously. No, not really. Yes. Mm hmm You know, you could push a little bit to the side if you wanted to. I kind of think you just... You want to just go straight back? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Why don't you come here? Uh, okay. <laughs> just like that. That's it right there. That's you? Yeah, that's me. Okay. That was beautiful. <laughs> you can't change the concept. <laughs> Should we put some spray on it? Kind of hold it? Or yeah, no, that's, yeah. We'll, we'll spray? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You spent four years in the car, you get plenty of good haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in the Army, yeah. After I started to give a little bit of hair. I said my grandfather was a barber, so that made me a barber? No, but I'd give a little haircut for 50 cents, kind of clean it up yeah. a little bit. Didn't really know what I was doing, but you know. That was great. Okay, well, Michael's my place, huh? Oh, uh, thank you, sir. You want to get going now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, man. Let me go track Rocky down and see where you ain't spending all the money. <laughs> well, is he, he's out gambling? Oh, I think so. He made the quick uh, <laughs> withdrawal. Oh, made quick withdrawal. I didn't see him He sat me here and he goes, come over your shit and sit here, sure. Did this and there, there he went. Okay. Wow. Well, well, it's nice meeting you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> okay. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye. You're all set. Hey. Look good. We got a window out. When is that it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye guys. Hey. Bye, Bye, guys. Thank you. Hey, we'll see when we can get back over and finish your camera off. Right? All right. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Hey, thank you. Right, and, and thank you for watching and and subscribing to Cliff's Barber Corral and have a, a blessed evening, day. Thank you again. Bye.